Cody from Dragon Fruit Freak back here again with another video. It's been quite a while since I posted because the Dragon Fruit have been kind of lazy this year, to be honest. I have some really interesting updates to show you guys. A lot of buds now kind of came in late, but you know, I moved, so the plants are probably a little bit confused. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So first up here, we have the beautiful Connie Meyer. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of little buds coming in, barely starting to take off. This is the beautiful pink flower with that awesome coconut flavor flesh, white flesh. And yeah, a lot of buds coming in, super excited for this one. And next up over here at one of my biggest plants in the garden, you know, it needs a little bit of a trim here, honestly, it's huge. Um, but this here, this fruit here, I wasn't even here to pollinate, this is purple haze. And uh, these here are also purple haze. And two of the fruits somehow made it, I don't know what's going on or how, but you know, I'm just gonna be grateful and not ask any questions. <laughs> this here is a black Africanus. This is the first time that I will be fruiting this or flowering this at this point, getting a little bit ahead of myself. But yeah, look at this one. This one is not making it. Take that off right there. But this one here is blooming tonight, so I will definitely insert the clip right after this of this one in its full beautiful bloom. Boom, guys, and here it is. This is our black Africanus dragon fruit flower in full bloom. Look at those undertones of the orangish red in the background with our white flower in the middle. Not much pollen is produced by this one, it looks like. Not too much there, but this pollen that's in the middle on the stigma here is purple haze pollen. So hoping this one takes and we get our first black Africanus fruit. Right here is Hana. This one is the monocanthus. This one is the one with that beautiful pink flower. And I was actually really worried because I have another bud on the other side, like over there. And you can see it a little bit. But yeah, it was getting eaten by the bugs. But this one over here I just saw. And yeah, the ants are loving it here. Got to make sure they don't eat this one. I will insert a picture of the flower open right here. And next up, we also have some cool new growth on our white crystal trellis here. Now this one's been really slow, but you know, it's worth the wait. I'm telling you, this one is a crazy fruit. Anyways, guys, that wraps up this quick update video. Like I said, you know, a lot of things are kind of going really slow in the dragon fruit garden this year, but hoping, you know, a lot more flowers, a lot more fruit come in and pick up later this season. Still a lot of time to go. so. You know crossing my fingers there hoping a lot more things come in but anyways i just wanted to also say thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers that's just insane to me that we have that much people here wanting to see all the beautiful dragon fruit in the garden i thank you guys so much for that and i really appreciate it and yeah please do not forget to leave a like comment and subscribe on this video and also leave me a suggestion on what you want to see next time in the dragon fruit garden thank you everyone and have a great day